All right, welcome back. So let's continue on with sketching curves. So last one we did a polynomial. This time we're gonna do a rational function. So if we look at the function, there is a vertical asymptote right on x is equal to zero. You can't plug in zero, it's not part of the domain. <clears throat> so x equals zero is a vertical asymptote. If we took the limit as x goes to infinity of the function, we're going to get 1, and we get the same answer if we took the limit as x goes to negative infinity. So that means you have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. All right, so let's go through and get our derivative. So we can use uh, the quotient rule. So the denominator, so the low, times the derivative of the, the high, minus the high, times the derivative of the low. Low d high minus high d low, and then square the bottom, and there you go. So if we multiply and distribute, uh, your x's actually cancel out and you have negative two all over x squared. So we can set that to zero uh, to get your critical number. So x is equal to zero, which we know is not gonna give us a relative max or relative min because it's not even part of the domain. but it's still possibly going to tell us where the function increases and decreases, or, or at least where it could switch. So choose some test numbers. So we'll go with negative 1 and 1. Plug them into, that's right, the first derivative. So plug it into here. So plug in the negative 1, and it comes out as a minus. Plug in the positive 1, and oh, it comes out as a minus again. So that means it's decreasing the entire time but I'm, I'm not going to write that as negative infinity to infinity because x or um, x equals zero is not part of the domain so i'm going to have to skip over zero and write it like this so no intervals of increasing and no extrema so it does not have a maximum or a minimum all right, so let's get our second derivative and address the concavity. So we can go off of this. So the derivative of this thing, if we rewrote or thought of this in a different form, we could flip the x squared up and write it like this. So our second derivative just pulled the power down or x to the negative three. And then if you want to flip it back down to the denominator, set it equal to zero and x is gonna equal zero again. So again, it's not gonna yield an actual y value, that's where your asymptote is. So it's not an inflection point. The concavity could switch there, but it's not gonna give you a point because there's no y value to go with it. So let's still test it and see what concavity says. So negative one and one, plug them into the second derivative. So the negative comes out as a negative, positive one comes out as a positive. So concavity does switch. So it's concave up, zero to infinity. Concave down, negative infinity to zero, and no inflection points. Because again, it can't. It can't plug zero in for x into the function. It comes out as undefined. It's bad. Okay, so let's piece it all together. So we have a vertical asymptote at zero, a horizontal asymptote. right at one. 
So we're decreasing on the first half. So it's 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 got to come down. Well, it's going to have to sit below this horizontal asymptote because it's not going to go through it and keep going down. You can cross a horizontal asymptote. You just don't. It just can't cross it just like that because it's the end. It's the left end over here that's got to approach y equals one. So it's got to go like this. And shoot down. Plus, it's got an x intercept. If you set your function equal to zero, x equals negative two is an x intercept. So it's got, it's got to cross it there. So it can't be up here. If it's going to hit the x axis there, as there's no way it can sit on top. Okay, so there's your first half. The second half, uh, it's still decreasing, so it's still going down. Well, it can't go like through the asymptote and keep going down because the end behavior has to approach one. So it's gonna come down from the top and go like that. And there's your curve. All right, now part C, if you looked at the note packet that I completed, I wrote a big old skip under it. So skip this. I'm not gonna ask you to sketch anything uh, like this, um, mainly because we're in purely online mode. Um, so we're gonna skip it. Uh, so the ones I'm gonna ask you are typically gonna be like a polynomial or ones like these uh, rational functions. All right, so I'm gonna do one more example. So I'll put that in a, in a separate video. Um, so stay tuned.